Hello and welcome back to another Higher Mathematics video. Today we're going to be introducing something brand new that you might have heard of before, and that is a topic called differentiation. Now, before we get into how to differentiate and what differentiation actually is, we are going to begin by doing a brief introduction to differentiation so we get the general idea of what we are doing when we differentiate. Now, I will quickly note that the things you'll learn in today's video is just the general background to differentiation. It's completely fine for you to skip by this one and move on to finding the derivative, which will be the next video. But if you would like to know what is actually happening when we differentiate, you might find this video quite interesting. So from our work in the straight lines topic, we saw that the gradient or sometimes what we call the steepness of a straight line is constant. So the gradient of the line AB is going to be the same at every single point along this line. And we stated that the gradient M, and we're going to give it a subscript AB, we said is equal to the vertical distance divided by the horizontal distance. Now, what about the gradient of a curve? If I was to draw you this curve here, which we're calling y equals f of x, how on earth can we say what the gradient of this curve is going to be? Because we can already see that the gradient changes as we go along the curve. For example, the gradient at this point here is not going to be the same as the gradient as, say, down here, as we can clearly see. So in order to work out the gradient of the curve, let's take these two points and we'll label them A and B. The best way to find out the gradient of a curve is to approximate. And as you can see, if I take a straight line here and join these two dots together, like so, I should probably do this to make it touch the point, we would say that the gradient of the line AB is going to be approximately the gradient of this curve. Now, if I were to take the point A, and let's say its x coordinate is the value A, therefore its y coordinate, well, y equals f of x, so it's going to be f of A, because the x coordinate is A. And if we take our B, and say that its x coordinate is A plus h, then we would say that the distance between A and B along the horizontal component is simply going to be the value H, correct? We would also simply state that the Y value of B, similar to what we did down here, is going to be F of A plus H. Now let's take a look at what the gradient of this line AB is going to be. Well, we would simply say that the gradient, which we said was vertical over horizontal distance, well, the vertical is the distance between the Y component of B and the Y component of A, which we said is F of A plus H and F of A. So it's going to be F of A plus H subtract F of A. And the horizontal is going to be A plus H minus A. This is a fraction. And if we simplify that, we would say that the gradient of the line AB is going to be F of A plus H minus F of A. And on the bottom, we get A minus A, which is 0 plus H. And we would say here that this is going to be our gradient of the line AB. But this is not a great approximation for the curve. To get a more accurate approximation, if we let this point B get closer and closer to A along the curve, so it gets closer and closer and closer to A, we would say that H is getting smaller, or H is getting very, very close to being the value zero to when it gets to the point very, very small down here. Now, if we had a very tiny little line right here, we would say that this gives us the best approximation of the curve. So what we would simply say is that the gradient in this case, and we're going to use red here because this is going to be our important formula, 
is going to be equal to the limit, which we write as lim, as h goes to zero. So as h gets smaller and smaller and smaller, it's going to get closer to zero. And we say that this gradient is equal to the limit of this, which was f of a plus h minus f of a, like we've written above, divided by h. And funnily enough, we call this formula here f dash a. But in general, instead of a, we write f of x. And this would be our formula for the derivative. We call this thing right here the derivative. So the symbol for a derivative is f dash a. Although usually this formula will be written as f dash x equals the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And this is our equation for an introduction to differentiation on finding the derivative.